These public toilet cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no queues. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down, just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. These small holes on some backpacks were designed to tie extra gear to them, so you can pass ropes through them and tie sneakers if you don't want to keep them inside your backpack or in your hands. This tiny dot next to the camera on your iPhone is a microphone. It helps to get good quality of sound while taking a video. You've just bought a new bottle of oil. You're taking off the lid and looking at this little cork you can tear off by pulling the loop. Take this thing out, but don't throw it in the trash. Put it back in an upside down position to control the pour's flow by pressing your fingers against it. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard will help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where the letters are. The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. No, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found those pieces of fabric in new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything's fine, you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it, push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need to use another special device. You're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate, and all the grains will fall through that hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position, and you'll get a good nap. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first invented not to protect your eyes from the sun, they used such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you, just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. 
Many pairs of kitchen scissors today have a serrated opening where the handles and blades meet. You can use this as a herb stripper to destem difficult herbs like thyme, rosemary, and chives. Saves you a lot of time trying to pick the leaves off by hand. And if you're short of a vase, you could present roses to your significant other this way. Just be careful where you're pointing the sharp end. The metal tab on soda cans can be flipped around. You can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up to your mouth. Two flat prongs you see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those little holes near the tips? They're not always there, but there's a good reason manufacturers put them on plugs. Thanks to these holes, the outlet grips the plug more firmly. This way, it doesn't fall out. There are small lined up bumpers inside most outlets. They fit perfectly inside the holes on plugs. It's a win-win situation. The prongs are safe inside the outlet, but with enough force, you can still remove the plug. The second thing about the holes is that they allow you to wire electric power directly to the prongs. In this case, you don't even have to use an electrical outlet. Also, you can put a locking mechanism or a bar through the prongs. This way, no one will be able to plug the device into an outlet. Some pens have caps with holes in their tops. Those are put there as a safety measure. If someone accidentally swallows a cap while chewing on it, they'll still have some space to breathe. Airplane windows have little holes which might make you nervous when you see them, but they're actually extremely important, and a plane needs them to fly safely. These holes protect you from the difference in pressure outside and inside the cabin. Different numbers are often put on the sides of many cosmetic products. These numbers aren't picked randomly. They tell you how long your product will actually last. This way, you won't put it on your skin after it expires. Some ovens have a little drawer at the bottom. At first sight, it's perfect for storing pots, pans, and trays. A couple of extra points for creativity if you use it this way. But it's not the drawer's main purpose. It's designed to keep the food you've just cooked warm while you're waiting for lunch. When you take a box of aluminum foil, pay attention to the tabs on the sides. You can press them in and they'll keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. Hungry? It might be a good time for some Chinese food. But keep in mind the takeout container isn't only a good way to carry your food. Unfold it and you'll have a nice paper plate to properly enjoy your meal. The hole you might have noticed in the elevator door comes in handy when the elevator gets stuck. In this case, a mechanic needs to operate it manually. They have a special key that gets inserted in that very hole, which releases the doors. Most plastic bottle caps have a soft little disc inside. Pull it out and you'll be able to close your bottle, but if you don't have that soft part and turn your bottle upside down, the liquid may leak out. If you prefer to buy milk in plastic containers, you've probably seen big circles on their sides. These circles absorb the shock if you drop the milk jug on the floor. They also create some extra room for the jug to expand if needed. That's how you can see if the milk's turned bad without tasting it. Lots of erasers have two parts. Most people believe that the rougher end can be used to get rid of ink, but that's not quite true. The darker side, usually gray or blue, is there to erase pencil markings from grainy paper, like the one used by artists. And the pink side is supposed to erase stuff from more delicate paper. Let's say you want to eat some applesauce, but you don't have a spoon with you. Just take the lid, twist one of its ends to turn it into a handle and make a scoop. Ta-da! Your little spoon is ready! Bon appétit!